Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky issued a fresh plea to the international community to hurry up and deliver more air defenses, start formal talks for his country to enter the European Union, and invite Ukraine to join NATO. Ukrainian forces face a worsening position in the east and await delivery of U.S. weapons following the April 23 approval by Congress of a $61 billion U.S. dollars, 83 Singapore dollars, 12 billion aid package after months of delay. Zelensky has repeatedly pleaded for further air defense systems, particularly the Patriot system. Zelensky said he had just spoken with U.S. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries and thanked Congress for passing the aid package but added that Ukraine was working with all partners to achieve a speed of deliveries that would allow Ukraine to maintain its positions and disrupt Russian war plans. We are still waiting for the supplies Ukraine was promised. He said in his nightly video address on Sunday. We are expecting those volumes and scope that can change the situation on the battlefield in Ukraine's interests. He added. In my conversation with Mr. Jeffries, I underscored that Patriot systems are needed, and as soon as possible. On entry to the European Union, Zelensky said Ukraine had met all conditions for accession talks to start. And now the EU must meet its obligations. Ukraine, which has received strong support from most European nations since Russia launched a full scale invasion of its territory, two years ago, is a candidate to join the 27-member European Union, but the process will take years. On entry to the NATO military alliance, which U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on April 4 Ukraine would join eventually. Zelensky said that every country that shares common values and is ready to defend them deserves an invitation to the alliance. He expressed optimism about their prospects for peace. Referencing an upcoming peace summit set to take place in Switzerland June 15 to 16, Russia is not invited to the gathering and has dismissed any such meeting as meaningless without Moscow's participation.